Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on what I feel is one of the greatest investment vehicles uh, for now and for the future and forever. And I'll tell you why that is. And as we run around this car, you'll see some of the aspects of a car that make it uh, investment grade versus a regular cool muscle car are going to be apparent here. So listen, uh, decoding a car and determining its real true identity is very difficult on some cars. For instance, a 70 Chevelle. There is nothing to tell you that that was a real SS396 or SS454, all right? But in the case of this car here, the Chevelle, because it's a 66, in the VIN number it says it has a code 138. That's how it starts out, all right? Letting you know that this was originally a super sport. All right, this has the original matching numbers 396 engine in it. All right, throw in the third aspect that makes it a great car. This is the original color, marina blue, and it's coded as a F. Sorry, I couldn't remember the letter on it. F as in marina blue. So this car, this is how it would have rolled out of the factory and onto the showroom floor. For instance, the Redline radials. I love Redline radials. Redline tires are great if you want to take the car to a show uh, and show it nationally and things like that, but Redline radials make it look great and it drives 50% better. So that's, uh, that's one of the aspects that I love. So anyway, so we're really talking about uh, a 138 coated Chevelle. So the big, big last part of this whole thing, actually it's two last parts. The, the fourth or fifth unit that we're onto right now is it's a four speed. All right, so few of these cars were four speed and few, so few of the cars that are four speeds still have the matching numbers engine in them. They're mostly blown up. This one still has it in place. And the final thing that sets this car way different than any other car out there is the top goes down. All right, the top goes down. You got a muscle car with a big block and a four speed. And this is one awesome, awesome investment grade car. So come on up here. Let's look at Marina blue paint uh, under the lights. All right, and this is really a great way to look at the cars because, uh, for instance, these fluorescent lights right here are very difficult. You can imagine, imagine being at a party uh, or at a bar or a club back in the day, back in the day when we used to go, right? And they would flip off, the, flip on the lights at the at the night. How ugly did everybody become all of a sudden, right? So fluorescent lights show all the imperfections. This right here looks so great under the lights. I still like to make sure you can see how really detailed it is. You can see the writing inside there. All right. This has new chrome and stainless. It has a new grill in it, the SS396 call-outs. We talked about the red line radials, but we didn't talk about the mag caps. For me, mag caps, I think, are better than rally wheels, better than aluminum wheels or whatever, because so few cars have them on it, and they look so really cool. And if you've tried to buy a set of mag caps, go on eBay right now and see how much these cost more than Corvette knockoff wheels now. That's how much these things have become, especially restored ones, because they don't reproduce them. So these are really date-coded items, and they're 40 and 50 years old, which is pretty cool when you think about it, all right? So, some of the fit and finish on the car. Look at the nice gaps here. Great looking paint still. You can kind of read everything still here in the paint, all right? Do chrome and stainless. Let's keep walking around the car for a minute because I want you to see what other people are going to see. Sorry, the door wasn't closed, and I wanted you to see this right here. This is an important part of convertibles. What happens is convertibles over time, they sag, and if it's not restored properly and put back together and time spent aligning panels and doing the things that you're supposed to do to make for a great car and not take shortcuts, you end up with ugly gaps, you end up with chipped paint because panels are too close and things like that. And that's why I wanted you just to spend a second and look right here. That's a really nice fit. And then we're talking about a 50-year-old car. We're not talking about a 2010, all right? So let's keep rolling around. You got your Super Sport call outs right here, all right? And come on back here because you're gonna spank somebody on the street and they're gonna to wanna to know what happened and here's what happened. It was a Chevelle SS396. That's what happened to them. That's how they got passed. And unfortunately, they're gonna to have to probably see that again and again, all right? All right, so you ask yourself, so let's see what's under the hood. Well, you gotta be careful who you ask that to. You ask the wrong person, hey, can I see under your hood? You don't know what you might get sometimes. All right, so. In the world of detail stuff, and this is the stuff you should be looking for, right? This right here is nice enough to go to a show and open the hood, okay, and show off your beauty in here. Power disc brakes are on this car, which is really nice. One of those things that people forget to ask about, because most cars back in the day like this had drum brakes, power disc brakes. This has the original 396 in it with the original manifolds on here, all right? And if ours, you could get a quick uh, up of this. There's the code for the engine and transmission combination in the car, that what we call the suffix code. And here's the VIN number to the car stamped on there as well, still in place. 
all right? Nice detail all around, parts are painted right, matte black under the hoods, satin black I should say, satin black around the engine compartment like it's supposed to be. This is a hood you can open and go to a car show and be proud of. You don't have to keep it closed and say, oh, well, I don't really like to open the hood. You want to open the hood on this car and you want to show people that you got the real deal car and you want to show that that's the original engine in the car 50 years later, which is pretty cool. Cool, so here, I want you to see this is kind of nice because this is detailed the way it's supposed to be. Splatter painted, okay, with the trunk mat in place, the correct decals in here, painted underneath here, nice and shiny, new gaskets around, okay, this makes for it. It does have a, a one or two small incorrect parts on it. I don't think they bother me. If they bother you, tell us, we can change them. It's super easy because if you want to take this to a show and it's to be like mega, mega authentic, you can't have an antenna like that. That antenna right there is an electric antenna and you couldn't get that on this car back then. At least it didn't come with it. This is a more modernized antenna. So we could put a fixed mast antenna or something like that. I'm being overly picky on the car because I'm looking for things to fault it with because it's, you know, it's, it's a great car. It doesn't have a lot of faults. All right, come on, join me inside here for a minute because this is where you're going to spend most of your time and I wanted you to see what it looks like in here. All right, so uh, I left this here so you could see it. Seat belts are still in the car under the original style uh, GM with a Fisher body on it, symbol here. So listen, you say, well, wow, that's really great to have seat belts in it. Why is that a big deal? Well, the reason that's a big deal is because most of these cars don't have seat belts and we forget to ask about them and then it's pretty expensive to install those. So I wanted to show off the interior a little bit, like all the new door panels, armrest bases, armrest pads, window cranks, doorknobs, dash pieces in here. All of this is new. Dash pad is new. The mirror is new. The console is detailed. It's got the original style shifter in it. This is very rare to find these cars with the original style shifter still in them. First off, they don't reproduce it. Secondly, it's uh, a lot of people put the Hurst shifter in it when it wore out. This has been rebuilt and it shifts just beautifully. Okay, the console with the clock looks great. It's got the knee knocker tack right here. All right, full gauges on the dash, not just idiot lights. And all this stuff is new in here. All the carpets, door panels, all that good stuff. It looks really, really nice. This is where you're gonna spend your time, so you might as well. Anyway, uh, one of the things I wanna tell you as well is this has the original style AM radio. So you get in the car, it's very period correct in here. Everything looks like it should have, like when it rolled off the showroom floor. And then if you want to, what we can do is put inside here, a nice CD digital sound system and we hide it in there so you can operate it with your smartphone or a remote control or something like that and then we just uh, upgrade the speaker system in the car as well so that's a really nice touch we do that for people all the time um, and that's very easy for us to do since we have all that stuff handy and uh, it's one of the things that we do so anyway I just wanted you to see what you look like uh, rolling down the road I'm sure you're significantly more handsome than I am but I'm just gonna fix up my hair so you can visualize yourself hair all messed up rolling down the road chirping the tires all the gears Summertime, this is an awesome ball. Feature about this car is it's certified. And you say, well, wow, that sounds great. Well, what does that mean? Right, exactly, very good question. So a lot of manufacturers have certified programs and those cars are different cars than other cars. So this car here, for instance, has had a two hour checkout by uh, a trained mechanic here, right? We have a full service department and restoration department. We have interior departments. We have engine compartment detail department. That's all they do is just the detail of that part there. So all of these people combine to make this car safe, ready, and enjoyable for you to drive, get it to this level here. The good news is the sales department can't put the sticker on the car. They don't even know where we keep them, all right? The reason that is, is because the service manager is the one who decides if the car is ready. It meets his standards. He's checked off the list, it's in the glove box. You'll get that when you take delivery of it. And it's stamped right here that it's certified. So you're getting a much nicer car than a lot of other cars. More importantly, if you're looking at other cars out there, ask them if they own their cars. We own all of our cars here. Most of the places that you look at can sign the cars. Or if you go to an auction, the auction is no different than buying a car out of some guy's driveway. The auction doesn't check over the car. The auction doesn't guarantee the car. You're buying a car sight unseen, pressured by everyone around you. And if you win the auction, that means you're willing to pay more than anyone else out there. Just throwing that out there as well, all right? So in the world of investment grades, first off, this price right here on this car is less than an auction pricing. It includes free and closed shipping. It includes a one-year warranty and it's certified. So I ramble on about that stuff because I've, we have invested, I wanna say I, cause it's not me. We have invested an enormous amount of time and energy getting these cars to a great place so that you can enjoy them when you drive them. Anyway, as I close up this video, 66, 396 Chevelle convertible, 
super sport, four speed, matching numbers, top goes down, red line tires. Mm. How you doing? Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.